I gotta give it to y'all. That's why I ain't, I ain't even charging. Everything free on me. Music Heads Radio. We got Miss Terry Red in the building today. Miss Terry Red, where are you coming from? I'm actually coming from um, <laughs> shooting a movie. Ooh. Yes. Can you say anything about that? Yeah, I can. Um, It's called In the Shop ATL. Shout out to YM O Mobile. Um, he produced it. You know what I'm saying? He, he called me up and he said, yo, I need you to get in this movie. You know what I'm saying? It's a great opportunity. You know, I like the vibes. I like your whole look. I like everything that you got going on. Like, this would be a perfect fit for you. So, I that's what I've been doing. Absolutely. And, and like, right now, like, that is that always been a, a dream or some type of move for you? Or has music always been your thing? Um, Music has always been my thing. I actually started rapping when I was 14. And um, my mom was, like, a momager. And uh, she 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 kind of pushed me away from it, you know. She kind of she was she was on me like Joe Jackson, and I was just like, oh, I can't take this. And then, well, I work at a bakery, so when I went to work, my homeboy, shout out to Joe Stevens, he's a singer, he's a gospel singer. He was like, yeah, I'm trying to come up with this song, and I heard you rap. Let me hear you rap. And so I spit for him, and he was like, Yo, Red, because at first my name was Keisha, mm. Miss Keisha. Mm. So I was like, oh, that's too plain. You got Keisha Cole. You got all these different Keishas. So I said, okay, I'm red, and my middle name is Terry A. So you dropped the hyphen, Terry. Mm. So I, it came up with Terry Red. And um, I, I just started back rapping. I just It just went from there. Mm. This bakery. 
I'm interested first. <laughs> what you what you be whipping up in that bakery? You know what? I just push pies. Oh, I just <laughs> I just push pies. I have the easiest job in the world. Man, it's simple. Trapping out them pies. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Well, you you said you st- when you started rapping at 14, like you were just confident with just rapping. Like, who were you listening to that made you want to start rapping? No. So this is what happened. I was in Mississippi, Jackson in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Me and my homegirls, we was all walking or whatever. And this dude stopped us. I know you think a dude, like, what the fuck he stopped me for? But he stopped and he was like, oh, I got this studio. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for artists. So it was it was three of us. So we went out to school. We was all excited, amped up. So we get in there, you know what I'm saying? I was, we was thinking we was Destiny Child. Hmm. So we went in the studio and I was singing... Let me cater to you. And he was like, nah, <laughs> nah, this, this ain't it. So he wrote me a um, he wrote me a verse to the Monica So Gone beat. And I'm I'm let me spit a little bit of it. This 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 back when I was 14. So it was um um this was the hook. Baby, I told you I was going to represent my hood and let's get it straight. They call me Miss Keisha. Baby, I told you I was going to represent my hood and let's get it straight. They call me Miss Keisha. I'm from the 39209. Your girl so fine. I'm from the crunky city where? Jack Town. Yo, I'm cold as ice. I bring heat to the mic. I'm not sugar or spice, but my skills are nice. Miss who? It's Keisha, baby. It won't be long before the sun had me in a Mercedes with the drop top in the rooms that don't stop with a red candy coat of paint job. Make these haters say, oh, my God. Miss who? Shout out to Jack Frost. He he wrote that. You know what I'm saying? He he discovered the Miss Keisha. Then, you know, I elevated to Terry Red. And Terry Red, that's that's something right there. Yes. Oh, man. Terry Red is something else. When they call you Red out there in the streets, you love it or you hate it? I don't know how to feel about that because some people be like, oh, you ain't red. You caramel. Hmm. So it's like, damn, am I red or am I caramel? Do you think I'm red? I don't think there's much of a difference, to be honest with you. Caramel got that gloss on it. Mm. Red red got the undertone. <laughs> red got a, red got a, got a different type of spirit with it. So you right. You absolutely right. Yeah. So, so in, in the industry... Do you do you see like, you know, where where red women are treated differently versus our darker skinned women that are rapping? Like Yeah. Mm. It's divided. It's divided on, on so many different levels. It it, it go it go deeper than rap. It's it's just not a fair game. You've been doing this for a long time. So you're like a veteran out here. So honestly, like, what what do you what advice have you had to give yourself to be relevant and just continue working? Like, what's what can you give these new artists who are just now starting? They're 14. Ooh, at 14. 16, 18, 21, whatever age, they just getting started. When you coming in this rap business, in this rap game, you have to be very confident. You have to be confident on what you're doing. You can't let nobody come. Whatever you got your mindset to do, however you feel like your flow should go, that's what you need to do because you can only be you. You can't rap for nobody but you. Can't nobody feel your pain but you. And you got to stay true to yourself. It's going to be people that are going to come. It's going to be people who that's going to go. It's going to be solid people. It's going to be loyal people. And it's going to be snakes. I done, I done got burnt. You know what I'm saying? So you just, you just got to stay true to yourself and put God first. And the people that's loyal and solid, you got to always keep them people around you at all times. And remember, positive vibes is a must. You got to be around positive people because I'm going to tell you something. When you elevating and you got and you got people around you that's not trying to be on the same level, they will bring you back down and you'll be back at square one. So you got to stay true to yourself and, and just know to put God first. Man, it's 2020. And we, uh, we, we, just, we still going through this corona thing. How has that been able to, how has that impacted you? Listen, thank you, Corona. I'm sorry to say it. <laughs> thank you, Corona, because I, I got paid during the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I came up. When I, when the coronavirus hit, you should, everybody should have been making some money. 
ain't no if ands buts about it. You should you should have been getting to the bread, and if you didn't, you're lazy. That's just point blank. Period. When it when the pandemic hit, I had no choice but to put myself out there. I up my music game. We in the house. We locked up. I started doing skits. I started doing modeling, and I started doing videos, music videos. I even started me only fans. You can say what you want to say, but if you know you you can run it up without doing. You know, all that extra stuff. You just got to you gotta be smart about it. You know what I'm saying? If you got a following, these niggas, they, they, they want to see you. They will pay. Okay? You don't have to be doing nothing. It's easy. You know, so during the pandemic, everybody should have been getting some bread. It, it helped me. Thank you. Coronavirus. Thank you. But, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, it was a lot of people's lives that got taken away. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, rest in peace to them. Straight up. Yeah. So, at this point, you know, what what can we expect next from Miss Terry Red? Y'all can expect for this single that I'm about, about to drop that's called Habit that is hot. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing a, a, a series, a TV series. Shout out to Stunner Lock Boys. Shout out to them. Shout out to Music Heads. Radio, shout out, just shout, shout out to ATL in the shop, shout out to Terry Red, shout out to um, It's Major Baby, shout out to Corey Terrell, Joe Stevens, um, shout out to Jaren, um, shout out to Nikki Brooks, my homegirl, she's a soca artist. Um, I don't want to forget nobody, cause you know how niggas be. Shout, shout, shout out to the whole Atlanta. Shout out to Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's getting a check. Shout out to people that's not a, afraid to go out and get that check and, you know what I'm saying, worried about what somebody else got to say about them. Shout out to y'all, you know. Oh, and not to mention, during the pandemic, when I did step out and I did my OnlyFans and started doing skits and everything, I actually came out with these shirts. Shout out to my homeboy, Jeff, because he made these shirts so y'all could go cop them. It's Terry Red. Got the long sleeves as well as the short sleeves. So y'all go cop them shirts. I have more on the way, different designs. So yeah, holla at your girl. I'm just trying to get to the bag, okay? In my bag, not in no nigga bag, in my bag. And that's just what it is. K Count. Nicki Minaj. Dej Loaf. Um, that's three, right? Mm-hmm. Corey Terrell. Um, of course, myself, Terry Red. But the person that I really would love to work with, it is my dream, is PNB Rock. And the reason why is because everything that he put into his song, all his emotions, I feel it. I can relate to it. Like when he speak, I feel like he's speaking to me when he when he talk through his music. And I, I just love everything about him. I love his swag. I, I I just love it. And that's somebody that I really want to work with. So if you see this PNB Rock, follow me on Instagram first. T-E-R-R-E underscore R E W D. And hit your girl up. Hit up music music heads. Hit them up. You know what I'm saying? Hit somebody up. I want to work with you. It's my dream. I'm a fan. I'm I'm your number one fan.